I went to Kathy Boutique in Greenbelt to buy this very beautiful and dainty necklace I've been wanting to own for many many months now but I changed my mind upon learning a very interesting fact about it and if you want to know what that is keep on watching I was actually planning to get the Diamond Leger. Diamond Leger. Ah, I don't want to repeat that again. It's very hard to pronounce. I'll just call it DL. But I ended up with my second option in case it doesn't work for me. I really love that necklace in the large diamond. It is so sparkly and even the chain is very, very shiny. I thought that the price is reasonable considering the size of the diamond which is 0.18 carat and I also like it in the large uh, because the smaller sizes tend to move or flip which is so annoying well I'm going to tell you in a while why I didn't pick the Diamond Leger and got my second option instead Let's unbox this first. It's in Katya's love collection. It's still wrapped up in its beautiful packaging because I wanted to unbox it with you guys. As usual, it comes in this beautiful paper bag with the cards and receipts. The receipt. And this blank card. The authenticity card. It's in this card. Kind of cover booklet here. I also got a cleaning kit. And I was told that the cleaning kits are supposed to be used uh, for diamonds only. looks like so it is unfortunate though that my SA couldn't give me a travel pouch the travel pouch is very useful when you decide to take your jewelry with you when you travel it's supposed to protect it so they ran out of stocks or supply but she promised to notify me if the item becomes available and finally the item itself, it's beautifully wrapped in the Cartier white gift wrapper, which is sealed with Cartier wax stamp. Theirs are so luxurious and unique. Let's just peel and open it up. So it's in this gorgeous red box. I'm super excited with this jewelry, guys. I can't wait to wear it. Ta -ta -da -da. So this is the love necklace, and this is the back. You can see the love embossed right here 
in front. I didn't know why it, it was packed like this. Anyway, let's just remove it. So this is the love necklace. Three diamonds in 18 karat yellow gold. It is set with three brilliant cut diamond totaling 0.07 carats so the inner diameter is 16 mm with a chain length of 420 mm so this is quite heavy i'm going to try this on in a while and show you how it looks like on me this necklace which is the love necklace is so beautiful classic and iconic I know that it is prone to scratches like the love ring or love bracelet but it's easier to maintain I believe I just have to be very careful in storing it when not in use It is such a clean cut piece. So since it's brought to scratches, like I mentioned, outfits with zippers in front or metal studs and buttons can scratch the surface of the uh, pendant. So I should avoid wearing them while I'm using this necklace. OMG, I love this necklace. It's so gorgeous. I have no regrets buying this. I just love how the diamonds are placed in between the screw head details. Going back to the story of the Diamond Pleasure, why I didn't buy it, I was discouraged to buy it uh, because of the diamond itself, the diamond independent. When I asked my SA about the price, um, why is it cheaper despite the size and how beautiful the diamond is? She told me that it is made of tiny pieces of uh, diamonds kind of put together in one setting which is why it's so sparkly so when I asked her um, was it illusion and then she said yes so you know I thought it's a solid tear <laughs> we all know that illusion setting enhances the size and appearance of the diamond in the jewelry thanks to illusion plates or magic plates you know what i mean the reason why the diamond leger stands out is because of this setting which is the new trend in diamond jewelry it is entirely based on the philosophy of less cash more flash don't get me wrong with this guys i still love the look of the uh, of that necklace but i'm just trying to get my money's worth the price of that necklace uh, with a large diamond is 2390 US dollars whereas this love necklace here with three diamonds is 4150 uh, US dollars exclusive of tax of course so I paid a total of uh, 4700 more or less uh, USD with tax and that one has 0 0.18 carat uh, diamonds Whereas this one is 0.07 carats only. So this necklace is almost double the price of a large DL. Is it because of the round gold that's holding the stones? I don't think so. Because the DL also has a sort of a pendant um, hanging in the lock of the necklace. Uh, that's just my opinion guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well that's it for today's unboxing thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have questions or suggestions uh, let me know in the comment section down below regarding this necklace and i'll get back to you as soon as i can i'll see you in my next one